When refugees enter the United States, their first encounter is with U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. This encounter can result in deportation or, more rarely, in the ability to enter the U.S. and make a case for asylum. In the Yuma border sector, rather than humanity, refugees are met with cruelty. After traveling thousands of miles through conditions we can't even imagine to get to safety, Yuma Border Patrol is violating law and policy by forcing refugees to give up their belongings. Sometimes the items are confiscated and sometimes the refugee is forced to simply leave them at the border to become trash. Whether the refugee is then deported or makes their way to a sponsor in the U.S., they often no longer have their cell phones, medications, and identification. This makes them an easy target for extortion, violence, and human trafficking. Should the refugee intend to seek asylum, they no longer have the documentation that will be needed to prove their case. This presentation is provided by the Uncage and Reunite Families Coalition, a group of community activists, religious leaders, and others advocating for justice and working for the humane and legal treatment of children and families at the U.S. border since 2018. This quote from Pedro is the testimony of a migrant from southern Mexico traveling with his wife, fleeing government corruption, and hoping to reunite with their U.S. citizen children. Once they turned themselves in to Border Patrol, the agents took their belongings and threw away their suitcase with clothing and medicine in their wallets. They tried to ask for asylum, but U.S. officials ignored them and expelled them back to Mexico the next day. A life cannot be reduced to a tiny plastic bag. None of the items confiscated and trashed pose any threat to the Border Patrol agents, yet the lack of the items can pose a significant hardship and danger to the refugee. Judges demand documentation to verify an asylum claim. Police reports, photos, identification, and even medical records can be necessary items. Religious articles are often the only source of solace for an immigrant in a foreign land. For what purpose are they not allowed? Medical records are necessary not only for an individual's health, but often to establish an asylum claim. The lack of clothing, shoes, and hygiene items presents an economic burden to the support community. Volunteers report heartbreaking stories of loss. These actions are not only morally reprehensible, they are illegal. Border Patrol should safeguard identification documents, not trash them. That in itself is a crime. How does a six-year-old's back x-ray harm an officer? What could possibly be the reason to confiscate or trash medical records? Arizona law is being violated. After years of complaints from aid groups, in 2015, national standards for Border Patrol were created. Long established laws are also being violated. International law is intended to lay the groundwork for humane and humanitarian treatment of migrants. This Instagram post was posted on Earth Day this past April. It is particularly underhanded in that the very victims of their treatment are blamed by Border Patrol for creating a trash problem. Like most bullies, the Border Patrol blames its misdeeds on others. In June of this year, Uncage and Reunite Families Coalition submitted a list of complaints and recommendations to Border Patrol and other appointed and elected officials. The Yuma Border Patrol agents need to follow existing policy and management needs to ensure that they do so. We must not let Border Patrol get away with this mistreatment and we must hold our governmental agencies accountable. If you want to make a difference, please call and write to your senators and to Border Patrol. Make them aware of the problem and insist that they take action immediately to remedy it. These are some of the relinquished items discovered by volunteers at our southern border. This behavior attacks the most vulnerable, children, those fleeing violence, and those targeted by gangs. 
Like the janitor, it is often the everyday person, not those in high places, who carry on the American ideals of liberty and justice for all.